What's up, guys? Nice man here. Wake up to the Diablo Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Istek. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this damn video if you will. Subscribe to the page and swat that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my patrons. Links in the description below. So what I have here now is mercenary that one of you guys in the comment section below on one of my previous videos made mention of. I used an edge bow on my last rogue mercenary when I attempted to destroy Uber Mephisto. Of course, edge bow gives plus 15 to Thorn's Aura, or a level 15 Thorn's Aura, rather. But then I thought to myself, after one of you guys mentioned this as well, why not put Bramble on the female mercenary, level 15 Thorn's Aura, when equipped? In which case, you can then use a better bow than Edge, which is kind of a piece of crap otherwise. Now, the problem is her resists aren't all that great. Um, and the conviction from Mephisto is, I think, going to bring this lightning res quite low. But fortunately, with Aqua Mercenary, they're going to be standing at a distance. So hopefully this will do the trick, but let's find out. But Bramble, with the 15 thorns, a nice 50% uh, fast rate recovery. Other than that, it doesn't really have anything that's going to be helpful against the Ubers outside of the 100 poison res and the 30 fire res. And I decided to put a G-Face. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Uh, I don't have open wounds on this mercenary. In which case, what the hell am I going to do? How's this going to work? Is there a helm that gives open wounds? I don't think there is. Let me know in the comments below. Let's try this without it. Just for the hell of it, alright? So level 15 fanaticism, uh, a nice uh, amount of damage and attack rating, and of course the all res plus 15, so uh, pretty good stats on this bow. Um, let's just try it without the, uh, let's just try it without open wounds. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. But we will have a decent amount of crushing blow uh, from these guys right here. From the Erders. So let's get some of these guys up. And then we'll uh, attempt to over Tristram. Uh, it's nice that this Faith has the Fanaticism Aura, which should help out with all my skeletons and everything else. Are you kidding me? Are we able to get a kill in here? It's a bit slow. There we go. A couple more of these big guys. Yeah, look at them cut away at the health, though. So... Uh, the fanaticism is going to be helpful with everybody. Uh, hopefully the Erders will be attacking faster. In fact, it looks like they might be. You can see my revives versus the non-revive. Are they attacking faster? I think they might be. Alright, but this is going to be enough. So, that's it. Let's see how well it fares now. I'm going to quickly heal them all up. Uh, not that that's necessary, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. And I think I'm actually going to avoid life tap. Since we don't have open wounds, let's try out Decrepify and see how well that works out. This is a cold mercenary. So she, uh, she fires freezing and frozen arrows and all that. Here he is. Come on, come over here. There, there right there. Oh, that, that wasn't good. Uh, that wasn't good. Yeah, don't teleport on him. That's right. Not with not with a rogue mercenary. Uh, she like insta died right there. In fact, if I don't have open wounds, I might as well get rid of the uh, G face and put Kira's guard and uh, guardian on her, and just pretty much get the crushing blow from the Erders. But we'll try this out. Oh, dumbass! Come on! I forgot to hire the mercenary. Get that mercenary. You gotta hurry. Uh, don't have much time with these revive timers. Now, the thing is, it seems like they just don't die. Uh, the revives, uh, they do quite well, so I don't think you need open wounds for that reason. Come on, go get him. Oh, he didn't heal! Uh, for some reason. Okay, so my mercenary is standing right where I was. There she is. 
Oh yeah, look at him heal up. Huh. I don't think there are any monsters that can revive uh, that uh, give open wounds. But yeah, is there a helm that gives open wounds? I don't think there is. Look at this! Oh my! Somehow, uh, we're still managing to take him down. I don't think this is going to work, though. Uh, the revives are going to expire. Uh, one option is to put on a Flash Ripper on my Necromancer and just go up there and just keep poking him. Uh, I think that's something that I need to try in a future video. But okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up the gear just a little bit. I think I'm going to get rid of the Bramble Armor, even though that's a really cool effect. Oh, look at this. She's shooting at the damn skeleton. That's not good. So he is reviving things now. Yep, so we're going to redo this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Duress on her, and I'm going to get my army up again. And we're going to see how that fares. As long as he doesn't have any minions, I think she's going to be able to maintain and open wounds on him. So I'm going to make a new game, and uh, I'll see you in just a minute. All right, so here we are again. And uh, I went through the entire freaking game, and I couldn't find any Urters or uh, Stone Crushers or those other things. So I guess I'm just going to settle with these trees, and we're going to hope that they have uh, Crushing Blow or something. I, mean, I, I don't really know if they do, but uh, we're just going to use them, and I guess we'll use a couple of these apes. All right, let's see how this works out now. <clears throat> so I swapped out the Bramble Armor with a Duress. So now my Mercenary has a 33% chance of open wounds and uh, a little bit more Crushing Blow. Uh, along with the Crushing Blow she has on her helm. So I, I, as long as she can hit Mephisto like a lot, uh, this might actually work out. And I, I'm, I'm going to use Decrepify. And she has a bit more resists than what she had last time. So let's lure him in. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, come this way. Where'd he go? I don't really want you there, but okay, that's fine. Alright, so there's my mercenary now, just shooting the hell out of him. And check this out, so the Duress has 50% chance of crushing blow and a 33% chance of open wounds. There's the Faith, and then she has a 35 crushing blow on the helm as well. Um, I would guess that most of the crushing blow here is coming from the mercenary. In fact, all of it is right now. The tree guys aren't even uh, hitting him. Uh, unfortunately, those damn apes are in the way. But wow, look at this! The Mercenary might actually finish him off! You gotta be kidding me, I don't even need the Urters! So, a 15 plus a 35, uh, that's about 50% chance of crushing below. And she's shooting quite a bit. See how fast she's shooting? It's kinda hard to tell. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. What's taking so long? Yeah, we're not doing enough damage here. Oh! That's not good. Uh, his minions are starting to come out. There we go. Look at this. He's going to die. Can we get him? Amplify damage. Okay, he's dead. <clears throat> okay, I'm a bit surprised that uh, that actually worked. See if Diablo wants to come out now. All right, so that was interesting. That's the first time I, uh, I've done Uber Shushram with a Summon Necromancer uh, where I didn't have a single Crushing Blow minion. Because again, I'm quite sure that uh, you don't get Crushing Blow with um, with the tree guys, but uh, that is going to be uh, th that is something that we have to verify here. But nonetheless, let's just let's just finish this up. Let's just see how well she does against say, Diablo Clone or Bell. Uh, I don't think it's going to be pretty. But we're going to try it anyway. There he is. There's that big boy. Oh, they're both out. But yeah, this is definitely a different challenge, though. Uh, see, Mercenary's dead now. Uh, but, yeah, I think... Uh, research noted. Apparently you don't... Th that's the mercenary you could use to uh, defeat Uber Mephisto. 
Now, how do you defeat these guys? I don't really know. We're going to figure that out. So stay tuned for future videos, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be with you.